This is Scratch Programming demonstrating the agility ladder in our extra game. This is the hula hoop station. This is the weight pulley station. In our game, we will be lifting a 25 pound weight. This is the hurdles and burpee station. This is the 10 push up station. This is one of the build leaders sewing the agility ladder. Here the build team is hauling. The build team is assembling the station. The wiring team is wiring the station. Uh, I heard it. Push the button? Okay. High five. Good. Slide to this, Lawrence. You may not be able to see it from there. Uh, yeah. Go hit the button. 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 Go Game planning helped us develop ideas for our obstacle course. We first worked in teams to build ideas on how we wanted our game to look. We learned about Scratch programming and the benefits from this program. Scratch helped us learn how to make our characters call sprites, move them, how to broadcast, and change backgrounds. Our Scratch team was able to program computer animations to show how our game is played. Nano Navigator is a way for our Nano team to program all of our technology, which includes lights, buttons, capacitors, and many other sensors that are in our game. We learned to make flowcharts and how to make our lights turn on and off and our buzzers to sound. These things are very important because they help, they help make our game work properly. The build team has one of the most important jobs because they design and build the support structures for our game. They also make sure the structures are stable and safe. The wiring team put the tech parts together for our game during the process of wiring we learned where everything went such as the negative and positive wires and how to put the wires in and take, to take the wires out to make our game work. Our game is an obstacle course with six stations, an agility ladder, a hoop station, a weight pulley station, hurdles, a burpee station, and a push-up station. We combine different teams, team ideas, to, to develop our obstacle course game. You can take it out of the room. <laughs> well, we plug the, um, we plug the wires into different buttons, and then we plug it into the control board. That's where we download our program from, and then the program runs through the wires to get the buttons to work correctly and the lights to work correctly. So the buttons are in the obstacle course? Yes, yeah. to show when you start and when you finish. Okay.